Welcome to the international headquarters of the fastest Formula One team on the grid. Having just won the Constructors' title and with both drivers taking it to the wire to become 2010 Formula One world champion, Red Bull are on fire. Today I've got an exclusive glimpse into one of the key reasons for their success, their Formula One simulator. And I'm not just come here to drive it on my own. I'm going to challenge F1 star David Coulthard to a race. But first, I'll let DC explain just how important it is to the team's success. When I first started in Formula One, they didn't exist. But as technology has improved over the last decade or more, then simulators play an increasing role. So what you're about to get the chance to have a, a drive in is a very sophisticated tool that the drivers, the current Grand Prix drivers, as well as the team, will use to, to go faster. So, time for that race. Shall we agree on Silverstone GP? Yep, I'm happy with that. Ladies first. Go on, then. DC's going to put in his very best lap time around the new British Grand Prix circuit. And then it's my turn to show him that us touring car drivers can race more than just saloons. I could spend all day in here. With 247 race starts and 13 wins to his name, not to mention four years racing with his very same team, today is just another day in the office for DC. Oh, I see that for us. Slide and hold. This is a man who's mastered the art of giving it 100% while pretending not to give a monkey's. Oh, is that a spin, DC? Oh, no. That's what my son would say. Oh, no, Daddy. Being in the same room as a TV legend and a racing god, it just a cracks. Come on, oh. just nail the lap. You've got one more lap. OK, let's keep it together. He may look relaxed, but he's still a racing driver, and he does not want to be beaten by a touring car ruffian. Here's a glimpse of what a Formula One driver's face looks like behind their reflective visors. 35-6, then. When the pressure was on, that's what you managed. <laughs> not good enough. I'm feeling a bit, a bit racy, a bit punchy now. At this point, I adopted David's technique of trying not to look bothered on the outside, but being deeply competitive on the inside. All right, then. So, obviously, you try not to crash on the, uh, on the first lap. You know, the loadings through the steering wheel, they, they kind of feel like they should be right. And also, the movement in the chassis, it actually does feel connected with what I'm seeing on the, uh, on the screens. Oh! Oh! <laughs> With the screen so big and the action so fast, my eyes and head couldn't keep up. Look at this. I was charting oh, 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 unknown oh. territory. <laughs> I think I've gone over the wall. Oh, you have? Go, you bunny hop the barrier. <laughs> Turn yeah. left. Keep going. There's a hospitality tent on your left-hand side. Yeah. Behind that, there's a beer tent. That's where I am. <laughs> Come and join me in the beer tent. OK, Jason, this is it. Last lap. Right, OK, come on. I'm probably going to be a bit quiet now. In reality, I wasn't going anywhere. But in my mind, I was qualifying for the British Grand Prix. I had David's time of 1 minute 35.6 to beat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at the speed he's taking through there. <laughs> steady, steady. That's good, Jason. It's terrible. Slow down. You're on target. Oh, I'm in real trouble now. Thirty-four two eight. Astonishing. <laughs> My time of one minute thirty-four point two eight was one point three seconds faster than DC's. After spinning more times than oh. I'd like to remember, <laughs> getting stuck nose first in the grass and ending up in no man's land, I was amazed. OK, so I didn't suffer the enormous G-forces of a real F1 car, but DC was well and truly beaten. <laughs> Mate, I'm a bit pumped up and a bit sweaty. It's, it's hard work. Even for me, you know, having raced these things for a couple of years, I feel it on my forearms. By the end of their Grand Prix distance, they'll have a bit of a sweat on. Remind me of the times? How, how, how did it all pan out? I thought you said we weren't going to discuss that. <laughs> I, I, I think it was I think, I think that's enough. <laughs>